Hello everybody, this is Russ with Health Forward Online and today I wanted to share with you my thoughts about vitamin D and, and the importance of this, uh, of this vitamin and the role that it plays on your, on your health. I've um, been reading a lot about this over the last year to two years and um, recently I got tested and found out what my levels were. They were extremely low which was uh, kind of surprising to me, but hey, that's I know what it is now, and uh, now I can do what I need to do to, to bring up that level, and I'll talk about that. But vitamin D, for starters, um, is actually not a vitamin. From what I've read, it's actually a type of hormone, which probably is why it, it's such an important element in our health, because if we're, if we're missing or low in that... Uh, in that particular vitamin, uh, it's going to affect a wide range of, of uh, functions uh, within our body. So that's one of the first things. And then um, the easiest way to get vitamin D, if you've probably heard this, is from the sun. Uh, get outside, expose your skin. Uh, if you're a guy, you know, take your shirt off, put some shorts on. Um, if you're a girl, put a bathing suit on and just try to expose as, as much of your skin as possible to vitamin D uh, or to the sun so that you can get vitamin D. And ironically, one of the things that we are told from, you know, the powers that be is that we need to stay out of the sun. And that's true. You don't want to get burnt. You don't want to damage your skin that way. But you do need, you do need, you know... 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at the most of sun exposure, you know, several times a week. And uh, the other thing is, the only time during the day when the UV rays are strong enough to produce the vitamin D on your skin is during the day, like between 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon. And of course, ironically, that's about the time when you're told to stay out of the sun. So again, just... Get out there, get some sun exposure during that time frame for a short time, and then after that, if you if you know you're going to be out in the sun, put a good quality organic sun block on uh, to block the sun after that. But before that, you need to get the exposure. A safe rule to remember is that when your shadow is shorter than your height, that's the time that your body can make vitamin D. Other than that, it's just not going to happen. And that was kind of an eye-opener to me when I learned that because um, obviously a lot of us work during the day. I work during the day. I get home in the late afternoon. During the summertime, the sun is still out. I go in the backyard and I'm watering. I got my shirt off and I'm, yeah, I'm getting tan, but I'm not making any vitamin D. So, uh, the other, so if that doesn't happen, then you need to supplement. Um, there's, there's lots of good supplements out there. I prefer the uh, the liquid style. Here's here's one that I use. It's from Life Extension, um, and it's a liquid emulsion, and it's just like a little dropper, very easy to take. And um, you can go to the Life Extension uh, website. Just go to Google and type Life Extension. You'll find it. They have excellent products. Um, so that's one. That's one of the ones I would recommend. Uh, I'm not really into the pills and the tablets. Uh, a lot of them have, you know, toxic tagalongs in there, magnesium stearate, and things like that that I try to avoid. So, but deficiency issues we talked about uh, on my blog today. I, I listed some of those, but I want to show you. Um, about two months ago, I got a blood test to see what my vitamin D, D levels were at. And here's the results. I went, I'm a member of Life Extension, and the test was like 30 bucks. There was a deal going on for members. Um, but I came back at 23.6. Uh, 23 and they measure it by uh, nanograms per milliliter. So that's very low. And I was... Uh, pretty surprised. You want to be around 50 or 60, and I'm at 23. So uh, so what I'm going to do is I got the uh, got the supplement. I'm taking about three drops a day. Each drop 
is what they call an international unit. So, uh, well, each drop is 2,000 international units, so I'm taking three of those, so that's 6,000 international units a day. And I'm going to keep doing this for probably about six months, then get retested and see see if that level comes back up. See if it, I want to get around 50 or 60. Um, and the good news about Life Extension is they have uh, a medical staff on board that you can call and get advice from them about how many how much you should supplement and for how long. But I want to show you on, there's a website called grassrootshealth.net and they've got this excellent graph here. So I'm at 23.6 which is right here and there's all these disease, all these illnesses here that you could minimize your chance of getting if your vitamin D levels are up around around 60. So let's go through this. Here's uh, cancers all combined, uh, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, colon cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, type 1 diabetes, fractures, uh, falls for women, multiple sclerosis, heart attack, kidney cancer, rickets. I mean, it's so I'm at 23. I'm not even. I'm below. Uh, if I can get up to here, then I'm going to decrease my chances of. Here's like cancers all combined. If I can get up to 40, there's a 35% reduction in getting these cancers. Uh, breast cancers for you women, and men can get it too. If you can get up to your vitamin E level up to here, you've got 83% reduction in your risk of getting breast cancer. That's huge. Uh, ovarian cancer, you minimize it by 17%. Uh, colon cancer, 60% reduction. That's like cutting it you know, more than in half. Um, type 1 diabetes, 66% reduction. So here's the goal. You want to get up here at around 60. If you get up here at around 60 uh, nanograms per milliliter in your blood for your vitamin D levels, then you're going to be in, in pretty good shape here. Um, so again, this, this chart, you can find it at grassroots health, grassrootshealth.net. And um, to get tested, I would go to uh, Life Extension. Uh, you can become a member if you're not a member, I don't know what it is. I think it's 50, 60 bucks. Another place you can get tested is on a, a website called uh, the vitamin D And here it is right here. I pulled it up. And uh, am I vitamin D deficient? Click on there. And there's a little a blood spot test that you can get that's, uh, I believe it's $65. A simple in home test that you can do. You do a blood spot. I haven't done it that way, but. It, from what I understand, it's pretty simple. You mail it in. Otherwise, uh, through Life Extension, I ordered a blood test. I went down to my local, um, my local lab, and they drew some blood. And within two days, I literally had my results. Very simple. And uh, the other thing is, I just want to throw this in there. I called Life Extension and asked because they have an excellent magazine that I get every month. Here's the latest issue right now, and it just happens to have another great article here in here about uh, low vitamin D levels. So, if you want to be a get this magazine at home, I call them up and say, "Can I give a deal? Can I pass on a deal to my Health Forward Online subscribers?" And they said, "Sure." So here's the deal: until March, this deal is good until March 10th, 2010. Um, you call up, get on Life Extension's website, lifeextension.org, I think it is, and call them. There's a phone number there. It's an 800 number. Just give them a call. Tell them you want to get the Life Extension magazine and give them this code, BIK901D. I'll post it, uh, I'll post it right on the screen there so you can see it. And you'll get a dollar an issue. That's 12 issues. You get it for a year. Uh, can't beat that deal. So anyways, I hope this was informative. Get your vitamin D levels checked. Get healthy. And uh, it's just one more thing. It's an inexpensive supplement that you can get. And it's just one more arsenal in your toolbox to, uh, to, uh, to keep you healthy. Take care.